Good morning, class ninth. Today we will start with your next chapter from the hive, the sound of music, chapter two. Uh, the sound of music is in two parts, uh, where you will come to know about two great musicians. This chapter is about two music maestros and their lives. This first part. Of the chapter, uh, we will learn about this multi percussionist Elvin Glenay. She multi percussionist means those who play the musical instruments, uh, you know, which are used by playing with with striking with hands or with sticks, like you know, drums, xylophones, gongs, bells. Uh, we either strike them with our own hands or sometimes with some uh, stick or beater like something. So she was multi persecutionist Elvin Glini. And in the second part of the chapter, this is the first part. In the second part of the chapter, we will come to know about uh, Bismillah Khan, Ustad Bismillah Khan. He was uh, named Ustad uh, in our country and he is uh, was he was he's a, he was a Senai player. Shenai, uh, he, you know, the, the Shenai Wadan was taken to a new heights by uh, Ustad Bismillah Khan. Uh, children, uh, you will come to know through these chapters not only uh, how they gain this popularity, but you will know about their struggles, hard work, and determination before they become legendary magicians. Uh, we, whenever some. Uh, person in our life came we come to know about such popularity we only see the glamour in the front but we should know what kind of hard works what kind of efforts they have put to gain that stardom that popularity how they gained it so that definitely that hard work and determination pays to you and uh, you will learn through these chapters how this these two musicians learn gain that popularity through their hard work and struggles and determination. Now, when we are talking about this first part, Elvin Dine, she is she listened to sound without hearing it. She was a deaf. So uh, definitely her struggles become more when as she, as she is a deaf and she is not able to hear. But she has the talent to play hundreds of instruments perfectly. That much, uh, that much uh, she has developed in her. That much uh, excellence she developed in her. So um, she not only uh, she generally what happened. We listen to music. See, we hear, we sense, we we sense some different things through sight hearing and we listen to music through our ears but she is she learned to uh, to she learned this music through her body and not through your ears she feels music and that's how she learned so um one of his teacher who taught her um, so many mu music instruments and she, he find that she has that potential uh, to and she has that potential to learn music and he helped her achieve something really impossible so um, now presently we find that she is a great inspiration to specially abled community now uh, through this chapter uh, we will understand that maybe her hearing was taken by God but something extraordinary was given to her. That is, she what generally we people hear, she can feel that more deeply than any one of us. And that is why she expressed music so beautifully. Now we'll be reading about her life, her struggles, her hard work. And then we'll, um, I'll side by side explain you the chapter. Children, the hard words are given on the side to you. I'll be explaining those word meanings to you. Um, uh, and you please write it down in your notebooks later on. Let's start with it. Rush R. 
crowds jostle for position in the underground train platform a slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a scottish farm but this aspiring a uh, musician faced a bigger challenge than most she was profoundly deaf now it was very rush hour crowd jostle for position jostle mean they were pushing roughly this was a train platform and this thin girl she was very young um, looking like 17 16 even younger than 17 she was nervous but she was also excited she felt the vibration of the train coming to the platform and this was his her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london so she had come there to learn music in this prestigious royal academy of music which was in london and she is obviously frightened daunting enough for any teenager fresh from scottish farm obviously she is little bit frightened because she is a girl from scotland um so she wanted to, she is aspiring musician means he wanted to learn music uh and why this challenge is bigger for her because she was profoundly deaf she is not able to hear so you could imagine that how she could have learnt music when she was deaf Elvin Glini loss of hearing had been gradual her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old Evelyn was waiting to play the piano they called her name and she didn't move i struggled suddenly realized she hadn't heard says Isabel Glini for quite a while Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers now um as uh, evelyn uh, was losing her hearing capacity it was slowly and steady when she was 8 years old her mother noticed that when a name for playing the piano was announced she didn't move and then at that moment her mother realized that she is not hearing what when her name was announced and and she was uh, this she was hiding this thing that she is developing growing deafness from friends and teachers she is not showing that uh, she is trying to hide this fact but by the time she was 11 her marks had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a uh, to specialist now uh, evelyn was losing her hearing ability at the age of 8 when her mother also realized that and when uh, by the 11 that means 3 years later her principal said that she should be taken to a specialist because she realized her headmistress urged their parents that uh, her marks are deteriorating because when a child is not able to hear he is uh, he or she is not able to gain that um, that uh, this uh, girl was not able to gain through teachers what they were teaching due to her growing deafness it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aid and sent to school for deaf now uh, everything suddenly looked black said evelyn now um by telling her story evelyn was saying that this thing that she was uh, she was she came to know that due to some nerve damage she has uh, developed that hearing uh, weakness she, she has her nerves gone weak and thus she is not able to hear and then a hearing aid is required and she should go to a deaf school because she cannot learn in a normal school and at that time if somebody come to know that he or she is totally deaf obviously that person would be uh, feeling low that person would be you know feeling depressed so that's how everything suddenly looked black she felt very disappointed at this time this was the statement by evelyn but evelyn was not going to give up she was determined to lead a normal life 
and pursue her interest in music. One day, she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too. Now, although she has grown up with this deafness, she uh, is very much determined and she wanted to lead a normal life and whatever she wanted to pursue as she wanted to learn music, she, uh, want, she has interest in music. So she wanted to pursue her career in that. And one day she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and she saw that one girl is playing xylophone and decided that she wanted to play too. She also wanted to learn that. But most of the teachers dis discourage her. But persecutionist Ron Forbes spotted her potential. Um, obviously, if a child is deaf, uh, the teachers, they showed disappointment in her that they cannot teach a child who is deaf the music which is specially based on hearing sounds so but ron forbes who was a persecutionist persecutionist means who plays the uh, musical instruments by hand or with um, beaters just as i told you the drum the uh, xylophones etc so he uh, find that she has a potential and she can learn and he began by turning two large drums to different notes so he started teaching her with drums don't listen through your ears he would say try to sense it some other way says evelyn suddenly uh, i realized i could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down and now but what happened he, he what he used to play he used to play the drums and uh, what his teacher is going to say to her that don't listen to this just feel it don't listen through your ears that means she has to feel that drum sensation when the sound is created it also created vibration so his teacher wanted that she should learn uh, not to hear but to feel the vibrations and then she realized that the higher drum, she, the beats of higher drums she was feeling on the upper part of her body and the beats of the lower drum from the lowest waist down there, she can feel the vibration. And Forbes repeatedly the exercise and soon Evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body. I hadn't learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibration. Now this girl the rest was sheer determination and hard work now at this point of time she came to know that uh, obviously the teacher asked her this to repeat this exercise regularly and then this girl found that she could sense the notes of music in different parts of the body and she thought that she is going to open her mind and body to music not her ears now she is going to feel that sounds and vibration later uh, rest obviously what she did later on was determination obviously when you have decided a goal for you and then you wanted to do it definitely determination and hard work is required she learned that what is her destination but she has to work hard for it and she did that hard work and uh, followed her determination she never looked back from that point onwards she, she toured the united kingdom with a young orchestra youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 just five years later she was 11 member after five years she traveled the whole united kingdom uh, she traveled when she was 16 with the youth orchestra she had decided to make music her life she auditioned for the royal academy of music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy she gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances at the end of her three years course she had captured most of the top awards so uh, she took admission in the Royal Academy of Music and she scored even the highest mark there which was scored by any of the child in the history of that uh, academy and then uh, she also moved from this uh, orchestral work to the solo performance she only she gave the performances on the stage and then when her three years course ended she had captured most of the top awards so that determination she has done she has worked hard with it she it paid reward to her and she achieved so many awards for it 
and for this evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievement if you work hard and you know where you are going you will get there and she got right to the top the world most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousands instruments and hectic international schedules so uh and for all this whatever she has done it this awards so she said that it's not an heroic achievement but she said that when you work hard and you know where you are going definitely you can get that so children this is an inspiration for you all also that when you are determined that i have to achieve this thing in my life and you are doing hard work for it definitely you will get that so right track is wanted from you all and definitely success will be there at your feet so um so she learned this music and she played so many instruments she was multi percussionist with mastery of some thousands of instruments she can play and even the hectic international schedule she followed she worked very hard it is intriguing to watch evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing in our two hours discussion she never missed a word men with bushy beards give me trouble she laughed now when they, this uh, interviewer was asking question from evelyn she said she was very effortlessly hearing everything and now in this two hours discussion she um, said not missed a single word that means she could hear what other is saying the maybe lip reading or through her hearing aid but she says that the men with bushy beards give me trouble because the mustaches and beard covered their lips and she could not um, uh, read their lips moving she laughed it is not just watching their lips its whole face especially the eyes so she watched people um, and uh, then they she learned what they are doing see the picture of evelyn is also given in your book um so it's function when you watch this girl who is she is deaf and she is performing you know effortlessly without hearing it is very nice to see such people she speaks flawlessly with a scottish lilt now she is a scottish girl so that with that accent lilt refers to the way of speaking the accent my speech is clear because i could hear till i was 11 she says but that doesn't explain how she managed to learn french and master basic japanese so when she was 11 she lost her hearing ability completely and she said that is the reason that i have learned language because at that age the child has learned the language skills that's why her ex, uh, speech is very clear but still the question arises that how later on she learned french and japanese language basic japanese language also so again that shows her again uh, another quality that she has the ability to learn new things she is putting that effort to it to learn new things as for music she explains it pours in through every part of my body it tingles in my skin my cheekbones and even in my hair when she plays the xylophone she can sense the sound passing up the sticks into her fingertips by leaning against the drum she can feel the resonance flowing into her body on the wooden platform she remove her shoes so that the vibration pass through her bare feet and up her legs so uh, for her music is there in her every part of her body because she feels music with her body and then uh, it was mentioned that when she was playing xylophone the stick passes that vibration to her fingers and then even when she is playing the drum she can feel that resonance which is the vibrating resonance refers to the uh, vibrating sound which flow into her body she can feel that and when she uh, moves on to the wooden platform she removes her shoes because she wanted to feel that vibration barefoot and to her legs that is the reason she uh, give the performance barefoot Not surprisingly Evelyn delights her audiences in 1991 she was presented with the Royal Philharmonic Society prestigious soloist of the year award says master persecutionist James Blades god may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any of us that is why she expressed 
expresses music so beautifully so evelyn um, surprises her audience and in 1991 she was given the award uh, this royal Phil uh, philharmonic society this is um, soloist of the year award was given to her and then the james blade who was a, also a master persecutionist he said that she had something extraordinary in her now evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic i have just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous apart from the regular concerts evelyn also give free concerts in prisons and hospitals she also gives high priority to classes for young musicians any richlin of the Beethoven Fund of Deaf Children says she is shining inspiration for deaf children. They see that there is no where that they cannot go. Now Evelyn confesses that she has to. She is workaholic means she uh, likes to work a lot. That she finds it's very satisfying working all the time, and she worked much much more harder than any classical musician because obviously due to her. Um, a hearing disability but uh, she said that my rewards are big and when uh, she apart from regular concert she also give free concert to children uh, even the prisons and the hospitals and these deaf for deaf children who was uh, any rich of the beethoven fund for deaf children says that she is a inspiration for these deaf children and uh, uh, they like uh, her music also the way she they Uh, they are she is inspiring for these deaf children who have the hearing disability and it's her story is inspiring for these children that even though they are deaf they can achieve whatever they feel like in their life so evelyn glenny had already accomplished more than most people twice her age she has brought persecution to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving she has given inspiration to those who are handicapped people who look to her and say if she can do it i can and not the least she is given enormous pleasure to millions so uh, evelyn glenny has already achieved so much in her life at such a young age which people are not able to achieve even they have twice her age and moreover she brought this uh, persecution uh, instruments in front of orchestra journey this persecution instruments like drums and all they are played at the back of the orchestra guitar and all these are played in front but uh, she brought this uh, instruments in front of the orchestra and uh she is an inspiration to those children who are handicapped and uh, those and they can look at her by thinking that if she is able to achieve her aim obviously we can so, so she is an inspiration to these people who are handicapped so uh apart from all this definitely her music that gives immense satisfaction to millions of people who listen to her music who appreciate Uh, her music so children the life story of evelyn is a uh, inspiration and um, this story tells you that how uh, this is uh, you know kind of interview of which was written by dribboa kole and she, this kind of article which tells us about her life history really inspires us Uh, I'll be giving you in your homework question answers the short question answers based on this first part of chapter, and you will be doing that. Uh, I hope you understand the chapter. Read it at home thoroughly. Uh, thank you, class. Thank you very much.